Hi friends, uh, multiple myeloma. So what exactly is it and is it a curable condition? So I have addressed about what multiple myeloma and what is it in my previous videos. It, can it be cured? Is it a condition that can be cured? So as I've spoken about it earlier, multiple myeloma actually falls into the group of diseases or disorders that we call blood cancer. It is a cancer of what we call plasma cells that are cells in that are made in the uh, factory that makes your regular blood cells. So these plasma cells help us making antibodies, which are proteins that help us fight infections and make sure that we are safe from infections. At the same time, when the cancer is involving these plasma cells, they become hyperactive and they reduce the production of normal blood cells. So your hemoglobin can drop, your platelet counts can drop, WBC counts can drop. And these uh, plasma cells can start attacking your bones and kidneys and various other organs as well as bone marrow. So they are uh, as, as, as good they are, as they are for our immune system and for our, uh, for our body. If their multiplication goes out of control, then it leads to a blood cancer called multiple myeloma. Is multiple myeloma a curable condition? This is again a question we get from most patients. Again, yes and no. Multiple myeloma is even though we say it is a cancer or blood cancer, it, we, it, the treatment of multiple myeloma actually depends on what risk the patient belongs to. So if the patient belongs to either uh, high risk or intermediate risk, which we usually determine by various factors, by various blood tests, as well as from genetic testing, then we take that patient for what we call chemotherapy and bone marrow transplant or stem cell transplant. Most patients will require intensive chemotherapy to reduce the load of the disease and then we take them for autologous stem cell transplant and sometimes even allogenic stem cell transplant. What happens if the patient has standard risk multiple myeloma? This means that the condition or this disease is not extremely aggressive and it is sort of brewing slowly and sort of needs to be kept under control, which is very similar to your diabetes or hypertension. So if you ask a physician, can a patient die of diabetes or can a patient die of hypertension or can it be completely cured? Most physicians will tell you that it cannot be completely cured, but it can be controlled in such a way that it doesn't cause a threat to their life. However, if diabetes is not treated or hypertension is not treated, that can also cause a threat to life. In a similar way, multiple myeloma, even though it cannot be cured completely, it can be controlled, especially the standard risk ones can be controlled to such an extent with medicines. So as we said, you know, you would have heard that most cancers require chemotherapy. However, with multiple myeloma, usually the first line of medicines we use don't really fall under the chemotherapy group. We use steroids, which are medicines that can be used for inflammation uh, and to tackle, you know, various autoimmune conditions or rheumatological conditions. So they are not really considered chemotherapy. We use targeted uh, therapy agents, which help these plasma cells not make these excess proteins so that these proteins don't go and damage the kidneys or the heart or the bones or bone marrow. And we use another medicine, which is also considered as a targeted therapy, which is basically a tablet that you can take at home. So if you look at the overall treatment, which is the first line that's used for multiple myeloma, it's not really chemotherapy, as in it will not cause you to have significant hair fall. It will not cause your counts to drop significantly. It will just maintain the disease in such a way that it doesn't interfere with your um, you know, the normal working of your body and does not cause a threat to life. Having said that, if uh, multiple myeloma is in standard risk and it is you know, uh, not being able to be controlled with upfront medications or first line treatment, we also try to use what we call immunotherapy. So we have these antibodies that are now available that we can try to control the multiple myeloma and keep it under control for a long period of time. Uh, of course, whenever there is a blood condition, especially like a blood cancer, if the first line or second line or third line of treatment, which is usually not significantly um, you know, intense chemotherapy, when that does not work, then the automatic next thing we do is usually give the patient chemotherapy and take them to transplant. But to answer the question in a nutshell, is multiple myeloma curable? Uh, as I said, it's yes and no. It is not completely curable but multiple myeloma standard risk can definitely be kept under control to make sure that patients can get a good quality of life for at least about five to now the, um, you know, the range is going up to about eight or nine years even with simple medications that can keep the disease under control.